All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our new submission process training. This truly is history in the making. Mark this date of May 1st as a major step forward in our company, and I'm not trying to you know, overplay it. I can't tell you how excited I am for us to begin this process of requiring the bill because I've seen the data. And I've seen what it's done for people in our company who've learned this process and done it well. So why get the bill? And you know, not going to just say just do it. Let's actually dive in and see why. Now, homeowners with utility bills, they go to appointment much, much faster. And at the end of the day, we're getting paid for appointments. We're getting paid for installs. If we do a better job generating those appointments, we're going to do a better job of generating income. Homeowners with utility bills convert higher, and I mean much higher, upwards of 30% higher than those who are submitted without utility bills. You want to make more money? Submit a utility bill. We'll talk about how. Homeowners with utility bills show a level of commitment that's really, really important to our process. By a homeowner making that commitment, the provider feels even more comfortable that this isn't just somebody trying to do a favor for a friend or family member. And that's certainly something we all want to start to avoid because of the relationships and the value of those relationships with the providers. And quite frankly, it's simple to get the utility bill. And, and I make it the statement, it's just ask. Just ask. And when you ask, you're going to find out it's a lot easier than you might have thought if you haven't already done it. But let's take a look at why we need the bill. In reviewing the bill, it's important to know that there's a couple of sections that are critical for our providers to have. Now, this bill may be representative of what you see in your market, but the bills vary significantly. But there's two sections that will be there, whether it's on page one or page two, know that you'll need to provide that. And one of the sections is the usage. And if you look at the usage, whether it's monthly or bi-monthly billing, you're gonna see that the scale, the grid, is going to be an indicator of how much energy the homeowner is consuming. So it's important to have that because we're going to design a system that's going to replace, to whatever extent possible, the energy that was consumed over the past 12 months with cleaner, cheaper energy. The other portion that we need to see is how much they're paying. Now, there's a lot of miscellaneous charges. There's delivery charges in some markets. There's usage charges. There's demand charges. Whatever those charges may be, take all of the charges, look at the very bottom of the bill, and take the total bill, and then divide the total bill by the number of kilowatt hours used. You'll find that somewhere in the boxes. Here you can see the power supply charges of 3828 kilowatt hours. Now, sometimes the homeowners will say, well, I'm only paying seven cents per kilowatt, or I'm only paying nine cents per kilowatt, because they're not reading the entire bill. If you take the total bill and you divide that by the number of kilowatt hours, you're going to see what they're actually paying. And in this case, it looks pretty good. If you just kind of scroll up here, it's oh, 6.9 cents. Well, that's just for the supply charges or delivery charges. But if you take the total bill, divide it by kilowatts, there's the actual rate. That's going to take all the other hidden charges because the utilities are pretty good at, at masking what they're paying for. It's going to take all those hidden charges and it's going to show them in the total number. There you have it. That's 18.3 cents. That is a very, very viable prospect for going solar. All right. This process is already covered in the playbook. So we're not coaching really anything new. The only thing that's changed is that it's now a requirement. And the reason it's a requirement is the numbers don't lie. The numbers show why we should have the bill, and you'll all see the benefit of it. Where does it show it? Right on page eight. It talks about everything we do, and we know that there's five stages in a solar lead. This is the pinnacle. It's right in between two sections, the mission. Let's remember why we're here. To accelerate the adoption of solar energy on a worldwide level, and our vision is to panel at least 2 million homes by 2025 and pay $2 billion to us advisors. 
How? Right here, there's two categories, appointments and installations. We're getting paid now for appointments, which is the critical component of getting to install is actually having a presentation in the home. If you supply the bill, now that you are supplying the bill, you're going to find that when they go to that appointment, the representative is going to be armed. They're going to have everything they need to present a proposal as long as everything else in the home shows the way that it should. We can talk about that. But I like to take this in bite-sized chunks. And the first is what I will typically call the discovery phase. And by the way, for those of you who are here, we will post this recording back on the same area on the Pioneers group. So once it's transferred and I have access to it, I'll post this recording. So if you want to download this, share it with your team or use it for yourself, it will be there. And I will take requests for the PowerPoint and deliver that to you as well. We'll talk about that at the end. Here's the discovery phase. Have you noticed your electricity bills have been going up for the past few years? Who hasn't? Would you be interested in taking control of your electricity bill? Who wouldn't? Have you ever considered going solar? And this is a powerful question because nine times out of 10, the answer is going to be yes, and it's too expensive is going to be what they think. Drop that down. So I'm getting to the bill portion, but you, you need to build up to this as well. Then you can get into some of these other discovery type of questions, creating a conversation. And the conversation is one that will carry into asking for the bill. So as you go through this process, step number one, presenting the offer. And this is a conversation. This is not a script. Have a conversation, pre-frame it, pre it, I'm sorry, with the questions that we covered in the previous page, the discovery phase. Now you get into a conversation. And then the second step, of course, is to gather the bill. Again, the why is important. If you don't understand why, I want you to totally know that the savings, here is right here, the savings will vary based upon how much they're paying for electricity and how much they use on an annual basis. You know, Dan Haar came up with a great line at the national convention, and that is, every home is different. Let's see how it works for your home. Well, yeah, every home is paying different for their bill. Every roof is different, but the bill is going to be the critical component for us to be able to create that proposal. So make sure you get the bill before you go through the submission. How? Just ask. If they don't have a bill, then there's instructions typically within their online billing. They can set up an online billing account. They can call their utility and have the utility email them. There's a whole bunch of ways they can do that. But typically, people get a bill. If they're not getting a bill, then they're doing online billing, and they can just go online and request a copy of the bill by downloading it. Very, very simple. And it says here, download your bill with full 12 months of information. If that grid is on the bill and it's legible, the information will be there. Very, very simple. Now, the next step is to upload the bill. And it's super easy if you're on a, a desktop or if you're on a Mac, there's an upload tab. If you're on an iPhone or a smartphone, you can download it, you upload it right from your phone. Very, very simple. So step number two, let's follow the easy steps below. Now, as you go into your solar grid, you're gonna enter a zip code, you enter the zip code, it's going to say, boom, congratulations, you're in a prime area, or you're not. If you're not, then save that lead, and we will have that data for future use. If they say congratulations, then you proceed to the next step. It's going to remind you to get the bill. And this may sound redundant, but it's going to get everybody in that this mode of just getting comfortable of asking for the bill. So you cannot submit without the bill. So it's going to remind you to get the bill, and then it gives you the option right there if you're on a phone, you can upload that by taking the photo right from the mobile device now. If they've texted it to you or if they've emailed it to you, then you just go to your file where you have all of your photos, grab it from your photos, choose it, and boom, create that lead. Simple, super simple process that we go through. The toughest one is going to be your first one if you haven't already done one. From there, it's going to ask you if you have the bill, say, yep, I have the bill, and boom, if you don't, it's going to let you know, hey, the bill's missing. This is it. It's just going to try to continue to trigger you to do it. I've seen a bunch of people posting today. I submitted my first one with a bill. And that's it. It's super, super simple. So if you don't have this process down, 
start rehearsing it tonight. And then, of course, do the live transfer. The other Achilles heel to this business is getting the people connected with the solar provider and confirming an appointment time. Why go through all the work of speaking with somebody and getting them interested, piquing their interest, and then just putting them in the platform and hoping that the provider makes contact with them? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You're going to get paid for the appointment. So write it through another couple of minutes. It's just a quick live transfer call. You've created the lead. You submit the lead. And then you do the live transfer. You have total control of that process. And then it goes into the provider's hands at that point. So do the live transfer. If you want the level of success that we know you want, the bill and the live transfer are really the Achilles heels. So there are only two things you need to do to succeed in this business. One, refer homeowners to a free consultation for a zero down, zero down consultation. Get the bill before submitting, and of course, do the live transfer. That's how you master the first thing that we need to do to be successful. And then as we know, the second is to refer entrepreneurs to watch our video and join your team. And that's it, folks. The people who do these things the best are winning huge. And all we're trying to do is get you solidified and comfortable with this process. So I'm going to stay online. I'm going to stop the recording. So for those who are listening to the recorded version, get back to your executive advisor, your national, your senior advisors, if you have any questions, and they'll fill in any gaps. But the most difficult thing to do in getting the bill is actually one thing, asking for it. <laughs> and if you understand why we need it, it should be pretty easy to ask for the bill. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording at this time, and then I'll stick around for any questions that you all might have. Those who are listening to the recorded version, have an awesome night. Thank you for participating.